I'm talking to my son Lior, and I would like to ask him a few questions. Uh, for example, my first question would be: Is how you would you summarize your first two years in uh, UPenn? And uh, one minute, I have to fix the light here. Okay. No good. Maybe we don't need that. So. No, we need that. But the light has to be here. Look at the camera, let me see. Yeah, okay. Put it off, put it off from there. I hire shaking! I'm talking to my son, Leo, and uh, I would like to ask him a few questions. Uh, how would you summarize your uh, first two years in uh, UPenn? Okay, my first couple years at Penn have been, uh, I guess it's just been a learning experience. Um, being thrown in a new environment, living by myself, um, as any college student, I guess, experiences. But I guess what really sets it apart from other college experiences is the fact that it's, I guess, the Ivy League environment, just being placed uh, in an environment that's extremely competitive and at such a high level where everyone's motivated, driven to uh, work as hard as they can and really uh, produce results that, um, I guess, sort of are leagues above other schools. And uh, that's really, I mean, that's a, it's, a, it's motivating and it's also uh, a bit challenging because it's just that I know I'm competing with peers, <clears throat> some of my peers that are really at the top of the level. So it's definitely a challenge. It's difficult, but it's also very uh, mentally stimulating. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that I get to challenge myself in such a way. Um, I am uh, taking uh, economics as my major, and uh, it's very math oriented. And I am, uh, what else? Uh, let's uh, move to the summer. The past summer, we just uh, finished to do a very interesting internship in a financial-oriented uh, uh, company that do international trade. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and about and what uh, sure. you've been doing yeah, there? So and, this uh, summer, what did I've, you study from that internship? This summer, I worked at a, a firm called Forex Capital Markets, and it's an FX firm, meaning that they uh, it's a brokerage for trading foreign exchange currencies, and they have many retail investors. Um, and pretty much, you only need fifty dollars to open an account, so they cater to many different people, many diff a pretty wide audience. And what I did was, I was part of the programming services department, and what my department did was create automate, uh, automated trading strategies that would trade based on certain indicators that the clients and the customers themselves would specify. For example, if, uh, if they wanted to enter a trade when, let's say, the moving average over five periods crossed over a moving average of ten periods for a certain currency pair, then we would code that and my job was to test the, the, the strategy and make sure it worked completely and make sure all the inputs functioned 100% uh, correctly. So that was my job. Um, it was very, I would say at first it was challenging because it was very technical and I had to really learn on my own how to work with the uh, platforms and how to manipulate all the different inputs. And so that was a challenge at least for the f first few weeks but as soon as I got the hang of things it really uh, so it became second nature, and I feel like I learned a lot. So it was a great experience. And uh, what was your job again to do there? What did you do specifically? I just, I just told you. To okay. just explain. Uh, what do you think about Obama's policy in general? You do study economy. I know that you have uh, not too much experience. You have mostly theoretical knowledge. But from what you understand in school, from what you read, what you see on the news, 
Uh, how would you judge the recovery that we are going through, or maybe the downfall? What do you think? What's going on? Okay, I will uh, preface this answer by saying that I'm not a, a devout Democrat, although I guess in the, way, in the handling of the economy, I sort of would lean towards a democratic policy, a physical policy, which was just to stimulate uh, the economy through a, a stimulus package. But honestly, I believe that the stimulus package just wasn't big enough, as many other uh, contemporary economists and politicians have said, including like Paul Krugman, who's mentioned that, uh, who's mentioned that to really jumpstart the economy, uh, a trillion dollars sounds like a lot of money, but it really just didn't go as far as we needed it to go. And that was mainly the, uh, that was the, the main policy that, I guess, that Obama and the Democratic administration uh, chose, to, uh, chose to undertake. And I think that it was, uh, I think it was a pretty smart move because if we hadn't done that, then really it would have just gone through a downward spiral. And there was just, with the economy and with all the banks, there was so much leveraging that if one bank were to fail, which it did, everything else collapsed as well. So it was sort of a chain effect. And in order to keep that afloat, and this goes, this goes far beyond just Wall Street, you know, it spills directly into Main Street because what these banks were doing was what they were playing with a lot of, a lot of, uh, custom, a lot of their customers' funds, a lot of their, uh, their clients that they had uh, savings accounts and CDs, and what they were doing is they were making speculative bets, and these speculative bets were, were very risky, ultimately. And when the economy crashed, and when the housing bubble burst, uh, this just caused such a, a huge downward spiral effect and where so much capital was lost. So in really the only course of action that we could do was to inject more capital into, into the economy, which was sort of through the stimulus package, which was part of it, as well as to uh, stimulate consumer spending, which keeps everything else afloat. So I really think uh, Obama took sort of the uh, a safe route by pushing for a stimulus, although he could have done more, pushing for a larger stimulus. And I think that, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much the, the crux of the matter. What was it? Uh, do you have any specific subject that you liked in uh, school in the last year? What was the most, imp mm. most interesting uh, subject that uh, you liked? Um, well, I'm very interested in economics, as I mentioned before, so I took uh, some advanced uh, microeconomic theory this past semester, and although it was very challenging, I thought it was also very rewarding because it, it made me think in abstract ways that I wouldn't have thought to do otherwise. It would really um, cause me to think in, in different ways to solve certain problems that I was never really forced to think about before. So. I guess just the whole way of thinking so abstractly was just very different and unique and sort of it was an interesting perspective that was new to me that I didn't really uh, get to experience before with my other classes which was um, which was although they were also very theor uh, theory based they just didn't require that extra level of abstract thinking and theory so this, uh, I guess, this was just a, was a unique experience for me. How about uh, your social activity in campus? Uh, uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, where you're staying and who are your friends and mm -hmm. uh, about the... About clubs and the club, etc. Like yep. uh, so this past year I was fortunate to serve as the, uh, the co-chair of the Chabad Leadership Board. And what I did was I helped organize Jewish events throughout campus uh, throughout the year, uh, such as uh, Shabbos services, special themed Shabbos services, um, and also throwing uh, special uh, holiday events, such as uh, one, one time we rented a bar out actually, and I organized this event along with my peers, and we uh, were able to uh, attract over 50 kids to come to the bar that one night uh, to, uh, to celebrate Purim. So everyone was dressed up, and it was just a, it was a big, fantastic event. Abba? Okay. Why are you walking away? Okay. Right. That's it? That's it for today. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll, have a con we'll continue it next time. Okay.